<laughs> Bear with us. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Professional streamer. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Come on, dude. Come on. Okay, we're good now. Had to do it one more time. Had to do it. I always forget to turn my names back on. Dude. Sorry, professional streamer, by the way. One of these days. Eventually, at some point. Alrighty, but game number one, Call of Duty Strat Hill versus Fresno State University NECC playoffs yep, yep. in the finals. Also, let us know in the chat if mic audio is good, game audio is good, stuff like yeah. that. But uh, Hey, welcome to the chat, everybody. Yeah, welcome, welcome. We're just doing the basic five-point defense. Seems like they're doing the same as well. Yeah, nobody's looking for an invade this time around. Surprisingly, with the Nautilus. Nothing special. Uh, with the comps here, it's like uh, Mundo, Maokai, Mordecai, and Shaco. So far, so good, Chief. Orn, Thanks, Briar, man. Katarina, and Jin, and Nautilus. Pretty Katarina neat. is not something you normally see. It's kind of a surprising pick. Yeah, in tournament play, it's, it can be rough. It's very much a feast or famine. Um... Seems like this series, though. She was a little bit feast, but... They had to be feast. It'd be like that, sometimes. Hopefully everyone's having a great day today. I know I'm having a great day. I get to sit here and uh, watch wa League of watch Legends. Watch our games again. It was very exciting. It was. It very was honestly exciting. super fun. Yeah. We, uh... Minus one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want to be a downer, but I, I didn't expect this to get trio, honestly. Like, no. straight up. I didn't expect that at all. No, I don't think, I think that's just being honest. I had faith that we'd win it. I didn't think it would be, well. He was confident. Well. That's all you need, confident. I was confident. Yeah, I need Big boys for this one. <laughs> oh, but the Brian? Yeah. Briar does the little game here. The girls trying to stop the, all of the flash over and most people just die anyways. R.I.P. missing the game. Those, uh, those uh, pattern dashes. Very lovely. The infinite dashes. Oh yeah, gotta love it. You would be in your MCS though. Until she got two kills. Oh my goodness, oh I my. never realized how close Artanis was to dying right there. That's crazy. Also, I did not realize that she had 4 TS to my 13. That was... That's kind of luck. Pretty nice. support. Didn't even like contribute to that. <laughs> Early game for this Oh yeah. No, it's so that way we look good. Our comebacks are always awesome. If there's one thing we could work on, it's definitely our early game. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no problem. That's we have a little We're bit already own four down two thousand gold. Hey. You know what? <laughs> Say it again. Our specialty is being down. Dude, it was rough. The entire like. Okay. That makes me sad. With Jorah's okay. gank. Oh, of course it's the flash unstoppable, but it doesn't matter. Damn. Huge. Our chance with the comeback. Took Keeping with it within one K. Oh yeah. That like really game following through. She was balling a lot. Mm -hmm. As the Katarina does, though. So what is she going to do except uh, kill everyone? 
That's what she does. Also, Frozen Lotus has been playing Magic like Ken Arena. Super scary. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to come out in the tournament games. No. I thought it was just for fun. <laughs> but I guess it's a serious thing. But I <laughs> didn't turn out well. Getting the grubs. We're still within one. Nothing too crazy. I mean. I could probably be playing super far up here, keeping Jin off the wave. Well, that was one of the things that we kind of discussed after the first game was we play pretty passively. Yeah. So we, we thought of ways to take advantage of it after this game, since if they're just going to play passively, like we might as well. Might as well get ahead for doing for them doing it. Because I think as an Ezreal person, you either have to let the wave just freeze in front of your tower and poke with Qs, or you just play super aggressive and keep them off of getting CS. Oh, for sure. And I didn't do that. I mean, you're doing it here. You're keeping them off CS. Yeah. Not enough. Yeah, that's, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. The thought was there. For Tannis. Already has a solid leech, as he does, as he does. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Briar's here for the game. She pops Ghost. R.I.P. Wardbringer gets ignited. Oh, my goodness. That was definitely overkill. That Nautilus ignite. Crazy. Majora's here for the follow. Okay, lighting the skill shots. Oh, uh, you didn't get it. Yeah, I got knocked away. We would have gone if I didn't get knocked away. Katarina ult! Okay. I was thinking I could do it. Pop burn! I was thinking about it. But it's really nice. If you didn't get ignited, you would have not won that for sure. Definitely. Dude, I went to Nasty Boots. I was looking for that. I was looking for the fight. But. Katarina, man. Katarina. Alright, we're well, 1 to 6. Sheesh, what an early game. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty rough start for us. Yeah. It's pretty common theme. Oh yeah. Well eventually we'll see, but the third game was sorry. I think every game after this was The second actually, one was good. Second one was we, we played good. the second one pretty good. I think that was pretty solid. Anyways. But more about this game. Specifically, I mean, our Tannis back up here. Did Horrible. we have a solid game plan going into this? Into the first game? I don't think we did. I feel like no. first games for us are always well, we much had, nerves. We had an idea, but they didn't really play like we expected them to. Yeah. And we managed to ban out some of their like, critical posts. So we ended up having to change up our strategy midway through this game. The second game, we learned how they played, and so we did pretty well with that. And then third one, I don't know what we did. We kind of just maybe we're just too high on our egos or something. Also, those briar ults throughout the game are so gross. She actually hits them. Pretty good. You give her props. This Katarina, kind of bro. I, bro, I can't. I can't with this Katarina. Dude, they just played for mid lane. She's so frustrating. Seriously. Dude, you could have taken another play there. Dude, I was. I'm, look at me. I'm like 0 3. <laughs> I don't. I can't. I'm worried about everything. She already has a Lich Bane. It's Lich crazy. Bane nine minutes. You know, honestly, she could have done Dark Seal earlier. She should have done that. Yeah. If you're five and now, you should like first buy Dark Seal. Oh, absolutely. She should have saw that coming. She okay. saw that. Like, See, yeah. What to seven? Yeah, rough. Down two thousand gold. Real rough. Actually, I don't like blanking on how we. Oh no, I remember how we got out of this. Don't spoil. I won't spoil. I won't spoil. I okay. I couldn't remember what we were what, doing. What was your thought process of being 0 3 against a 5 0 cat? What was, what was your thought? What did you. What was so, your process? When we originally picked Mord, I, we were like thinking about, well, we need some good AP damage mid lane. So the problem was I couldn't just like start building a tank. And then I'm like. Not making good on our team kind of promise, and so I was just stuck in a situation where I had to like kind of. This was this was something I. Liked. This is something I I I very much like.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Bye, casters. I know we took a little bit of a break because we got our friendly, uh, friendly friend over here. If you want to introduce yourself, you gotta get right up in that mic. Eat it. All right, we got our friend Quentin here. Your friendly neighborhood top. Friendly laner neighborhood top laner. laner. So now we got three people from the actual game here <laughs> to commentate about what went wrong and what went well. We were just talking about how our early game is atrocious. Rather well, Yeah. Describe it in most cases. Except me, I can't make mistakes. I'm perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> no, when I'm telling you eat the mic, I'm telling you you okay, need to I'll eat, eat the, mic. the mic. Everyone's gonna make fun of you. Nah, that's fine. I, I'm just an amateur streamer after all. <laughs> Something we definitely struggled with early on is not respecting his prior ability to just jump us at any given moment. She was landing pretty much 100% of her ults for the first, what? We were talking about that. Again. Like, she was nailing those. Yes, she was yeah, good at hitting those. And, like, we were just having a rough time early game. I do think the Katarina could have bought Dark Seal against me way earlier. I'm like. Kind of turbo inting <laughs> and not farming well. You're garbage, kid. I'm, I'm garbage. <laughs> so, like, I feel like she could push that lead better, but I don't know if it would have won them the game necessarily. I was hoping this would get her, yeah, but it, it just your, didn't. Your W was able to recast, so it would have bare minimum saved you. And like, I was hoping that small bit of health that I steal. Would have been enough to stop but the ignite it would, it from just wasn't. But the issue is that the ignite also counts the HP you steal from her. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. It is. Another game in top lane where nothing happens. Oh yeah, <laughs> you gotta love the tank matchup. It's so fun. Dang. That dive. Ooh. I blame Grayson. I forgot about <laughs> I'm that. just kidding. Dang, but dude. Just another another ult from Briar up in the top lane. She's just going everywhere with those ults. Honestly, she should she die here, but she just she gets does the lead. Oh, she didn't die. Yeah. I forgot about that. We really suck this first game. <laughs> mm, I don't think Not we want that to be the comparison of sucking compared to the third the, game. The third game was rough. The third <laughs> game was really rough. Because this, if this is a sucking. What is? How can you describe the third? Throwing, game? horrendously <laughs> throwing. No, no. <laughs> it's okay. We had like two more games to win if we lost that one. We were, we were. I don't think Ethan, Ethan would have been able to handle oh, two more games after I, that one. I think though. many of us would have been too exhausted at that point. No, it was rough. My back is so massive when my muscles so oh, large, sure. I could never be exhausted with carrying. That's why you got to play Mundo. <laughs> Shoulders are so broad. Oh yeah. Got to keep those muscles big. <laughs> but honestly, despite how poorly some of these matchups went, I am thankful and happy that we've made it this far, considering nobody, on, at least from my knowledge, of the League of Legends team has ever made it through finals before. Uh, no. We got or to two, semi two we, finals, at least. We got to semifinals last time, and then Florida State, who uh, we had don't some talk, issues we with don't, that. We yeah. don't talk about Florida State. Um, took us out in the semifinals, so we never made it to finals. Mm -hmm. But this time we did. And it looks like we got a TP top from uh, Miss Engineer. It looks like they're going to be swapping lanes. Wondering if it's going to be temporary or not. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. not respecting the da not respecting Ooh. Katarina, but she almost dies for that. Uh, My guy just didn't take dive. any damage. Oh, he has the he has the MR. Oh yeah, he has Hollow Radiance. No wonder why she wasn't able to instantly devour him. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so awesome. Also, don't you love the fact that like she's building Lich Bane and then immediately into Bork. <laughs> like that's the best part. Don't you love it? I when love Katarina. Katarina opens up her kitchen cabinet, throws everything in her inventory, and it kind of <laughs> just works out. <laughs> She's just an assassin Lala bear. Oh yeah. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
Wordbringer got Dodgers. hit by the Nautilus, so this he attempt. attempts to get out, but just barely not enough. So close. Yeah, this this Briar is being an absolute menace. And yeah. there's a weird guy in the bush with a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I, I'm I'm admit it. I'm a bush gremlin. I oh no! You, sometimes you gotta be. <laughs> sometimes, especially in top lane, sometimes it really is effective. I should just play Rengar at that point. <laughs> True, <laughs> Rengar top. Uh, I don't know. I'm See, not, I don't I'm know. That this he didn't like. He didn't do a whole lot of damage. The issue is you just, just didn't have a whole lot of HP at the beginning of that ults. I'm just so behind. Yeah. But don't worry, Money Man Mundo's on the case. Oh yeah. I can't get there. <laughs> <laughs> And this was an amazing shot down right here. Boom. Yeah. A thousand gold for the Ezreal. Yeah. Army so was good. Army was doing work. Doing amazing work. I I may have hero syndrome and want to be part of the spotlight, but I think we can all agree. Marmy wow. is the hero of our story. But like, He's the protagonist. After that though, <laughs> you just decked that guy in the head. Sent him into the tower. Uh, no proof. <laughs> that hard steel is amazing. But after that play, it looks like CEI is going to maybe attempt Dragon. Um, I'd probably be the time. Fresno State University taking top tower. And it looks like CEI is taking bot tower to exchange. So thus far, a fairly neutral trade in towers. But we yeah. also, the difference in the gold shutdown is starting to make this game a lot closer. It was what, 4 5k difference of golden that we're down to? Oh, two. yeah. We were, we were like way early on. It was like a 4K difference. Fresno State bad. University is summoning Harold. Looks like they're going to try and get some pressure mid while trying to uh, stop the dragon being taken by CEI. Whoa. Katarina getting a massive ult off. Mundo at the barest amount wow. of HP, but still gets out. Unfortunately, Fresno State University did steal the dragon. Okay. But our main hero and protagonist is somehow alive. How are you still alive, dude? The crazy Just part is different. if Orn didn't ult me, if Nautilus autoed me, I would have died. But now I have ult back, so me and me and Marmy can become monsters together. Dang. I am the support role of our main protagonist. <laughs> That's all an ADC needs. Now, now the question is, how is Marmy alive? <laughs> True. It's called Conqueror's Dax, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's called being built different. <laughs> Hey, I'm looking at chat. I'm not down. I was fixing your guys' problems, okay? No, he died. died. Alright, well, I'm back. I'm here. <laughs> um, no proof, actually. I'm just, Bruh. it's a really good impression. Yeah, where's, where's the proof at? Where's the proof at? <laughs> face reveal? Face reveal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Look at that, me dying again. That's awesome. Katarina ults onto the Mordekaiser, killing him rather quickly. That's pretty awesome, man. You I sound love, so I happy that. about Katarina. No, I, I love that. <laughs> you know, Everybody needs to make sure they're eating their microphones. Life is no, good. I'm trying to, man. Life is... Dude, you can share the mic with me. I don't bite. That's fine. I oh, swear. No, Sometimes. Doesn't matter who I share it with. This is two microphones and three people. This doesn't add up. Oh, Math I just doesn't add up. <laughs> I could have made a rather poor taste <laughs> joke. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a fight against Briar in the top lane. Uh, sorry, top river rather. Of three people running Briar down in the street. Oh my god. Are you guys good over there? I don't know what he's doing. Give me a second. It's it's almost magnificent watching the cogs turn in both of your guys' brains. I'm not doing okay. He's the one who's got OCD. He needs to fix it. The best part is nobody can hear you, so I sound crazy talking about this. Oh, yeah, but yeah. they're both they're both going crazy over here in the studio. How dare I? How dare you? Okay, <laughs> it looks like CEI is taking another tower from Fresno State University. The gold lead has now shifted into CEI's favor, and it looks like the lead that Katarina previously had and Briar previously had have all been taken into. Um, Ezreal Mundo's and Maokai's bank accounts, making this game, from the looks of it, sick.
Good. Are we back? I think we're good. My bad. My bad. This is why you don't fiddle with stuff. Hey man, we've never done a three-person broadcast before, okay? It's the same as a two-man broadcast. We just share a mic. Hey, we're working through it, okay? <laughs> oh, looks like Briar's able to get on top of Ezreal. It looks like she... Oh! No, Conqueror's decks are too strong. Able to flip it on the Briar. Turns out assassins are nothing compared to the raw skill of Marmy. How do you prefer Conqueror? Over the other ones, over other runes. Why do I prefer Conqueror? Yeah. It's pretty based. I don't know. Conqueror <laughs> just feels better. Well, Conqueror. Well, it depends on the matchup. Because if you're playing Ezreal into like a really squishy team, and none of them are gonna fight for very long, then you want PTA. But if you're playing against like or like Electrocute or one of those yeah. short bursts. But if you're playing runes. like against three tanks and a bruiser, two tanks and a bruiser. Then you're gonna want conquer because you're gonna be in those longest tank yeah. fights. Good luck. It's okay, you can call Katarina Luna's a tank. Jumped. It's fine. That's one ult, two ults, three ults. <laughs> Money man Mundo died for his life for that tower. I think there was a 600 gold shutdown, so CEI gained seven, 675 from that, and Fresno gained 900. Am I right with my math? So, a little bit I not the greatest right. for CEI, but at least yeah. they get that extra territory expanse. Yeah, and Flash from the Mordekaiser. Looks like Fresno's going for the. Terrified of the Katarina. Oh, yeah. No. I have, what? I'm 1 and 7. <laughs> of course I am. It's horrific. Ah, uh, nah, 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 nah. Especially after this. This was just. Bad. Oh, TP from uh, Mundo looks like he's going to try Ooh. and clean up this fight. He's coming in. Ooh. Nautilus trying to run away. It's nice. not happening. So what was previously a 3v4 turned into a 2v4 is now a 3v4 again. But okay. we don't have the power of our magnificent ADC in this fight, Oh, sadly. here comes Mordekaiser, though. But it looks like Mordekaiser is coming from behind. Away. It's going to be a good pinch, I think. I am utterly surprised that the only person who got a heal pet was Orn and Nautilus, who I do not have to attack. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what their uh, their plan was with that one. Oh, and this is where I make my comeback. Call Ezreal Chris Kyle because he just took down <laughs> Jin okay. from 1.3 miles away. Do you see my snipe from halfway across the map? <laughs> I predicted that so well. But despite how awful the staggering was for that fight, it looks like CEI is going to win just barely and go for that dragon. The comeback is real. I guess the kill comeback. We were always like ahead in gold, but the kill comeback is real. I mean, we were behind around 15 minutes. We were pretty dang behind. Yeah, we were we were behind by like 6k. I'm utterly surprised. We it were was honestly these those. fights that like set us back. Because I yeah, got cause tons of money getting, from that. Getting the Katarina shutdowns on uh, Ezreal. Oh, yeah. I was able to get the ones on Briar, and the ones I didn't get were put onto Maokai. And then you were able to clean up the rest of the fights against the, the Jin and the Cat, uh, the Jin and the Warren in the last fight, which is a huge yeah. amount of gold for you. Tons of gold. You can see it in the items that I buy, and in the bounty that you have. You're oh, able yeah. to, you're, you're becoming a menace. Oh, yeah. To society, even. <laughs> guys, just think about how good I could be at ADC if I only played ADC and didn't start out mid and then changed to ADC. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how good our mid laner would be if he didn't start out. In <laughs> Lol. That would be crazy. That'd be so crazy. You got, you gotta love that when making a team we had three top lane mid. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, I am just playing a top laner mid, that and is it's true. like, I can't. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna conform. I refuse. Really? I will not play mid lane champs. You know, I did <laughs> receive a recommendation for you last night after talking about these games. The first question oh, yeah? someone said was, why did you play Aatrox? Why didn't I play Aatrox? Yeah. I considered it, but we needed AP. Did we really? Yeah. Mundo does primarily AD damage, and so does It was like most of the second game. Because Mordekaiser um, I was yeah. like confident with. In the first game, and, and then, then Katarina said it didn't work. Nah, <laughs> nah, I'd win. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, oh, I, I considered the Aatrox. Massive but engaged by CEI, able to get a double kill here. Yeah, but sorry for cutting you off. Go no, ahead. that's good. That's good. No, I just say useless garbage, so that's fine.
No, come <laughs> on, don't go there. The only person who's allowed to verbally berate you is me. I'm just okay. kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> I, I I swear. I swear I'm nice. Uh huh. Sometimes. Hey, don't swear. Oh, uh, don't I swear promise. My, don't swear I, on my I Minecraft. Promise. My Minecraft server. Anyways, we're taking the Baron. Looks like Jin's ult is trying to snipe it, but it got body blocked by Shaco Clone and the largest businessman to have ever existed. Also, the Katarina sold for Dark Seal. Did she sell her? Did she buy Dark Seal? I don't think she had it. She I don't think she not. had it yet. Oh my goodness. Maybe she had it. I don't think she got it the first did she not get? Okay, never mind. I thought she had it. No, it JK, I'm tweaking. But also, do you know how hard it is? as an ADC to like know how much damage you're gonna be able to take because I feel like I was expecting to die way faster and then you just keep on going yeah you would always be left at 1 HP just barely avoiding death I mean you did build Spirit Sojin you got a nice chunk of health from that like you do have a little bit of tank on you and as Ezreal you have a lot of escape as well so it kinda kinda works out that way Oh, that was a good pick, mid lane, for that Katarina. Took out a priority target, especially since most of the gold is on her. Unfortunately, the Orn will be able to escape, but it looks like CEI is going to take this moment to keep the pressure up and take this inhibitor tower. Agreed. Just absolutely demolishes in such a short time. Oh, Azure yeah. tower damage plus... I mean, Mundo, Mundo's ridiculous AD that scaling demolish. on his passive is just absurd sometimes. Ugh. See, this I was impressed with. Somehow I was proud you of were this. able to 1v1 the Briar. Boom. Right in the head. Who had an Orn item upgrade on you. Bonked. Just gonna say this. You took him to Brazil. Took him to Brazil. And then just... Cameron shut and him, Mundo. Shut him the sights to see. Uh, sorry, Marmy and Mundo just running through the towers, kind of ignoring the rest of the enemy team. There we go. Alrighty, there we go. Ready to get into game number two. See, I will switch to red side this time around. Very classic. Classic. Classic red side. Looks like it's going to be an interesting game. Um, Artanis pulling out a pick he ha you uh, hasn't really seen before. Yeah, the Darius from you. Yeah, pulling That's out wild. pulling out Darius into a matchup uh, against his main of Cho'Gath. I think it's because we got all uh, all your champions banned, and then Cho'Gath obviously got picked. Only only a couple of bans in my direction. Only a couple. <laughs> It's a good thing like I have a all of them. Of <laughs> the list. But it'll yeah. be interesting to see how this works out, considering we, we got the Maokai again. Yep. So that will be interesting. Uh, we have a very heavy scaling comp. Yep. The only real early game being from Maokai and Darius. I mean, the Shen Smaller should be able to withstand a little bit of the Lucian Nautilus pressure. Yeah, but it takes a while for them to get online. And oh, considering for sure. the weak game CEI typically has early, yeah. it might be exploitable. And we've got uh, my Victor coming back uh, mid lane from earlier games this season. It's a pretty consistent pick. Kind of something I can fall back on. So, yeah, I'm playing Smolder and I got counterpicked with the Lucian Nautilus. It wasn't looking too great from the start, that's all I'll say. Yeah. But we had in our minds that we just needed to sit back and scale. So the only worry that we had for their team was maybe the ASOL and the Cho'Gath being like problems late game. Nobody's but a problem for the likes of me. I'm true. just kidding. I you're just, just the boss. My ego is through the roof for Actually, some reason. <laughs> you're not playing sets, you're not the boss. You're right, I'm the hand of Noxus. Yeah. But it looks like thus far bot lanes being, or just in general, everyone's kind of being just passive and just farming. Which honestly is not something you really see super often until you reach higher tiers of play. Which I guess this kind of is, so. But everyone's just farming. Surprisingly, the Nautilus Lucian isn't trying to be super aggressive. 
because if they just dive onto the smolder, I'm pretty sure he just dies. So we were talking about, uh, about like last game, learning about how, you know, last game they were kind of playing pretty passively. So we figured we could try and take advantage of that. You have any thoughts about that game? Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, first game. Who'd they play in the first game? Uh, it was the uh, Jin Nautilus. Oh, that's what it was. It was Jin Nautilus. I noticed in the first game that they were just sitting back and farming from super far away. Okay, sorry, All right. not to interrupt, but uh, our boy Quentin is getting dove on. He gets silenced, oh. runs away from the Chogath, bops the ghost. Majoris Ooh. flashes in, try to save him. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. No way they turn this around, right? Okay, a really oh, soul flashes in. Soul. Unlucky. Manages to get both, actually. I have one thing to say about that entire situation. Mm. Mid diff. Okay, bro. <laughs> All right. See, here's the thing. You're right. You're right. It's but. fine. <laughs> it just proves that they're they're really terrified of the way we were playing. Yes. Especially after that first game. So they. I, I understand why they dedicate so many resources to top. Yeah, no, they were very concerned about your Especially gameplay. Especially with how blind I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as I want to keep talking about myself, I have to talk about other people. Oh, come on. Okay, Gavin, <laughs> you were able to escape that one for now. Anyways, back to this bot lane. So, they were playing super slow the first game, so I was like, I'm just going to play right. super heavy scaling. And uh, I was really scared that they were going to all in me level 3. But they uh, never did. Yeah. As you can see, we're level 3 and 4, and nobody's really fought yet. We're just sitting back and poking from, from distance. Which is a dangerous thing to let Smolder do. Yeah. That's Especially when you're playing one. an aggressive champion like Lucian. You should be all up in their face, not letting the Smolder even farm. But look at that. It's four minutes in, and I already got my first upgrade on my Q. That's crazy. Well, it doesn't look like they're going to be overly aggressive, since it seems oh. they only want to do something if they have, that. like, a additional help well yeah but they immediately back off That's they realize how terrible the trade was wow. looks like Aesol is going to be top again but the question is can can uh can i pull this around Ooh. i'm able does he to die? oh he does die the chogif nice trade and even though i died i have same amount of kills as chogif but i do have that that cs lead building because honestly the cs is probably more important than any of the kills that we're ever going to get in this game anyway. It usually is. It usually you is. Playing from behind always. Victor with his passive be like. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll just take the minions. <laughs> I'll just take the minions. It's fine. We should keep score of how like far behind or like how many kills we need, like deaths we need to be at by a certain time. Yeah, see what the threshold is. Yeah, see what the threshold is. Because right now we're three kills down yeah. in... Uh, or two kills. Or two kills down, I two should kills say. Down. In six minutes. I wonder what we were at last game. Really bad. It was like <laughs> five kills down. It was one in Okay, to be fair, that was also like all me. I had like most of the deaths on the team. However. <laughs> our our whole team strategy is just if everybody plays like Inting Scion, we'll eventually win, right? Absolutely. The boss special. This is quite the uh, interesting fight here. So you're saying Singed mid, Scion top, Ram the support, right? I think that's what he's saying. We, okay. If, if we're going to do nice. the Valve's FFS strategy, we got to commit to it. Do we get the Sage No, I was uh, spamming R trying to get the kill. You did get the 600 gold shutdown, though. And and I didn't mean like we play Inting Scion champs. I'm saying that is our play style. We play <laughs> like Inting Scion. We just die <laughs> super early and then just get all of the objectives and then we win. I mean, it works. Somehow. Yeah. Bro. It looks like this Nautilus is just getting bored of the bot lane. I, th I think his mind is, uh, is starting to slip. He's just throwing hooks to throw hooks. Already exhaustion setting in. I mean, we... The it's a fairly lengthy th uh, lengthy time. I know the game started at 6, right? Yeah. This was already an hour into the... It was already pretty things. deep, and the last game was quite a slog. Yeah, and considering we at least started practice several hours earlier, I had assumed they did the same, which just yeah. means that... This game takes a lot out of you. Both parties were like probably exhausted after 5-6 hours. Absolutely.
No, this this game takes a lot out of you. Except for our cracked ADC, he would never get tired. Oh no, he never gets tired. He's always He's up. He's transcended humanity. Yeah, I went from playing mid to ADC. I'm like immune to being tired now. <laughs> but anyways, I love playing Smolder. Smolder is my favorite. Little champ. guy. He's a little guy. But too bad they nerfed him into the ground, and he has like a 48% win rate. Womp womp. <laughs> Despite that, though, you're able to, well, oh, true. once you hit your 225, 225 on your passive for your for your Q. The execute doesn't scale anymore, though, right? It's just the flat, like, 6% or something? I think they reduced the, the flat execute by 1%, and then they um, did the nerf. They nerfed damage on the base Q. Oh, okay. But even though Smolder did get gutted a little bit, he is still one of... He he's undisputedly a hyper carry once it hits the late game, especially oh, since he sure. has infinite scaling. Which now that I think about it, this game has three infinite scalers. You have Cho'Gath's yep. HP, Aesol's passive, and, and Smolder's passive, which is AP, AD, and HP. I should have played Vega. I should have done it. I should have played, played Massus. You're right. Real. We could have just had a slog. Oh, massive, fit. massive fight coming mid lane. Wow. Shen TP onto the Maokai. Okay. Um. Maokai barely able to escape. Victor Holy trying his crap. best to live. He gets out. Maokai goes down, but it looks like Nautilus wow. is going to go down with the Aesol. I think he was trying to hunt you down. <laughs> I think so. And I'm uh, just yes. too slick with it. Peaceful top lane. <laughs> but I think that one, that fight gave me my first upgrade and half of my second upgrade. Which is my massive. Friend. That was a massive fight there. Because you do the Q into W for Victor upgrades, right? Uh, e. You do E first, because oh, e. that's the laser beam. Oh, E into Q. Yep. E into Q. W is the last one, because it's just like, oh, the slow is better. And do, you, do you upgrade ult second or third? Ult is after you get all three of the main upgrades. It just automatically upgrades that Oh, you one. can't do it early. Yeah. Oh, looks like it's going to be another 1v2 in the top lane. But it looks like the hemorrhage stacks have started. Cho'Gath okay. is just kind of letting Sejuani try and do things. That but the heal. healing on the Q is stopping it from doing things. Sejuani goes okay. down. Oh, both top laners at zero HP, but Darius has at least slight amounts of mana. It's not zero oh, HP. Oh, and Cho'Gath walks up it's and not is zero taken HP. down. Darius always has more. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> Darius is the one of each. He has to have more. Always. I see you in the top lane there, Quinton, popping off. <laughs> Dude, those hemorrhage stacks are so gross. I never realized how much damage they do. Is hemorrhage true damage? Uh, no. no. Oh, it's, it's not. It's the ult that's true damage. Oh, I see. Once you have the five stacks, yeah. Yeah. Also, 150 gold bounty with 99 CS, but only one assist. Gotta love the league. Something league bounty system. Something you have to keep in mind is that... It's bounties are based off of group gold, but out of CS, out of all the CSing, me and yours is the highest. Like, there's a difference of 40 CS in the top lane. If you take out supports um, CS, which they're pretty much even, you have a 15 CS lead. And it looks like Nautilus is going in onto the Shen. He's going to knock up his ADC because ha ha. Do they get Shen funny. here? Oh my gosh. Just barely escaped. Wow. Shout out to Easy Breeze for blocking that Nautilus hook for me. And Artanis is going in for the fight. Gets the Q on the Sejuani. Sejuani's at full stacks wow. right now. And she's just going to wow. go down. Quinton doing too much in the top lane. Is what Darius a new pick for us? Darius We're is going to have to bust that out It looks like more. it is going to be for me. In I mean, I'm okay with that. In response to your question about Darius, no. <laughs> I mean, come on. Bro was cooking. Maybe if I played him more often, I would, but... Nah. If I'm going to integrate a new character, if it wasn't Cho'Gath, I was considering Rek'Sai top. Rek'Sai's top. Oh my goodness. That was... It is kind of absurd. Oh. Oh. The only the only issue is that in the terms of scaling for that, it's basically Cho'Gath, but you don't have uh, feast stacks to increase your HP for the hard steal. doesn't look cool as well. You're not big. not chonky. What do you mean? Rek'Sai gets super big with the build I take because if you go hard steel into full tank... But you're not like the size of an entire lane. You become the roughly the size of Skarner. Well, and Skarner, Skarner's a beefy boy. I don't know. Okay, boys, you're both pretty. We don't have to argue about the size <laughs> of our champs, okay? It's just top lane things, alright? You wouldn't understand. I wouldn't understand. I'm an ADC main. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> True, I'm just a little smaller player, so... Yeah. Well, if there was an item that made you smaller, would you take it? Yeah, yeah smaller hitbox. I guess it's true. Yeah. Just take a small, just be like the size of a minion. Exactly. I mean, I guess you can do that as an Also, Nico. I feel like Aesol's stacks are so crazy right now. His E range is huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's just going to go all in on you. Do you turn this around? Okay. Throw the R. Which wars is here. Bro got himself canceled. Okay. Quentin. Okay. Doesn't quite land it, though. Oh, and another wow. fight breaking out bot. These just brawls. Just throwing out the Qs. But still, Lucian is just not all in. He already has Kraken Slayer, but still just doesn't want to all in. And it looks like the kills are finally in CEI's favor. I think every, I think everyone's getting a bit antsy and just fights are breaking out everywhere. Everybody's just getting real bored. <laughs> <laughs> we need action. I mean, to be fair, in top lane, he's not allowed to farm. I'm not allowed to tower dive him. And mid lane, well, we know what mid lane's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just becoming a point of who can who can keep the mental for longest. But it looks like a massive play is about to start here in the jungle. Darius going on to Sejuani wow. with Cho'Gath trying to play Intercept. Aesol's here, Victor's here, Maokai ults. Holy crap. That's wild. Absolutely immediately goes on to the Aesol. He might... Does Aesol make it out here? I think he just does. Just barely. That's it looks crazy. like Darius got his full stacks off on Sejuani and on Cho'Gath. Uh, I don't know if they'll be able to do much here since they're still relative. Oh, Ooh, Joe kept getting it. Uh, cool. It's hard to speak in the third person because normally I would describe myself as the Cho'Gath. It's it's a weird. He's the Cho'Gath. You're I, the Cho'Gath guy. I am. I am Joe Biden. Joe Biden. <laughs> Your personality is Cho'Gath. Eat, sleep, breathe, Cho'Gath. You need that on a shirt, Quentin. Eat, sleep, breathe, Cho'Gath. Eat, sleep, breathe, Cho'Gath. He's got to wait till the. Hopefully the the VGU comes out. Dude, it better. He needs it so bad. Oh, I'm sure. I know. I'm sorry, man. Okay, <laughs> Nautilus, ulting me misses oh, the hook, wow. and that's a teleport from Cho'Gath okay. trying to go all in, throwing the ult down, but it's not gonna do very much. Wow. That's the shutdown going to the Cho'Gath. R.I.P. They finally got something. Yeah. Not to be mean. Like I mean, it took a lot. That's like that took a lot. Three ults to take care of Smolder. Yeah. It looks like uh, tier 2 top lane tower is about to take, be taken down. And response to your thing about Cho'Gath, BG is never going to happen for him. Uh, yeah. no, nobody cares about Cho'Gath enough for that. <laughs> I care enough. He's cool. Lee Sin's getting a VGU before. Well, okay, he... Lee Sin he was, is three years younger than Cho'Gath. But like, <laughs> popularity, alright? Yeah, that is true. Lee Sin is a very popular character. But, but that just only proves my point. But it looks but, like... Tier oh, 2 is taken, tier 3 almost was taken, but... Well, Lee Sin's getting more of a visual thing, because I don't think his gameplay is changing. Yeah, it's just mainly a visuals cleanup. The and next they're, gameplay... They're, but they're updating the model as well, from what I'm aware of. Yeah. The next gameplay is going to be Shivana, though. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought... I thought it was supposed to be Nocturne based off the poll that happened a while back. No, or that was poll that was Shivana. Oh, okay. Shivana won that poll. And then they fired the person who's going to be the head designer for Shivana, so I don't know where that's at right now. Mm. Honestly, I like the way Shivana is. I... She's definitely problematic, though. <laughs> she is horrendous. <laughs> but it looks like farming has gone back to being the main priority for the game. Kills are almost equal, but it looks like CEI has a 4k gold lead. Keeping that CS. Keeping those objectives. Kind of. I wonder how many stacks Smolder has, because it looks like the second upgrade is here. I mean, I I wasn't paying the most attention in regards remember. to the smolder. Honestly, ADC is too boring for me. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. It looks like there's going to be three top again. I wonder if Darius will be able to at least pull out a trade. Oh, maybe. Oh, it looks like wow. Shen's using his ultimate. That is just everything. Yeah, that's rather unfortunate. That was like I every ult that they had. I baited Ward Bringer into a terrible situation. I'm sorry. Forgive it's okay. me, brother. <laughs> He's used to it. <laughs> He's used to being the target. It's okay. If the last couple of games are anything to go by, I don't think <laughs> he's happy about it, but it does happen fairly significantly. Oh, looks like Sigurdswani ults. I don't know if... Any oh, that was an execute and a half. Oh my god. Yeah. 
but it looks like CEI is starting to slip up a little bit. The 4k gold has transitioned into a little bit under 2k gold lead. But it looks like uh, Smolder and Malkai are going to try to do something about it. Just a lot of beef. No damage laying down. But Smolder's CS is on point. He has the highest CS in the game, which is good news. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, yes. ADC versus the, various the, moment. The TP from behind for the Lucian who has done nothing at all this <laughs> game up to that point. His first death. Weakest top laner versus strongest ADC. Honestly. <laughs> I feel that on a personal level. <laughs> you should. You should. ADC is is a rough bucket for sure. Transitioning from mid to ADC has been a struggle, but I'm still figuring it out. Mm. At least I can see yes. Hey. Also. That's all that kind of matters. Quinton doing so much damage. Has the hemorrhage wow. stacks. Pops ghost. Nice dodges the Q. Okay, turns okay. back in. All right. Easy Breeze with another clutch up. The absolute Oh my go. goodness, those Qs from Quinton are just nuts. Okay, Lucian is there. Throwing the ultimate. Oh. Sedge ult as well. But they're still not even going to get He's him yet. still not dead. How are you still alive? Dude, you're just a powerhouse. That was crazy. Oh, just wait. It gets better. Oh my goodness gracious. The only thing that was holding me back was mana. <laughs> But I'm there, baby. He ate the fruities. He got the berries. Easy Breeze being a magnificent support and helping me set up a triple kill play. Absolutely. Best support we could ever ask for. Honestly, I don't know how I didn't die. They used Sejuani, ult, Lucian, ult, Nautilus, ult, Nautilus, Q. Like, I should so have much. been dead by all rights, but I guess Darius is just kind of built different. <laughs> yeah. Built like a brick house. But it looks like the main issue that's currently going on is that CEI is struggling to find a way to break open their base more from this point forward. It just seems like waiting for the, the CS to meet up with the, the power spike so that they can break open the game. Right. But other than that, the game's going all right. The lead back securely in CEI's paper with three and a half K, uh, four and a half K gold lead and one kill up, which is a miracle. Somehow. 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 The impossible has happened. CEI is ahead on kills. <laughs> what a first. Oh, a okay. massive pick out onto the enemy Sejuani, but it looks like I a Cho Cho Death TP from behind is going to be an issue. Massive Aesol ult oh leading to the kill on Maokai. Shen dies next. Smolder makes it out, and it looks like Darius is splitting up top. If he's able to move quickly, he should be able to get this inhibitor tower. Yeah. And it looks like the goal right now is just to buy him time. I think... I don't want to be, like, anti-CI here, but Fresno did a good job, like, splitting us up there. Like, oh, yeah, they Fresno was really job. good about doing that the whole game. And I get caught out there and die. 0-2. Yeah. Elbow zone. Yeah, we did buy you time though. You do get the tower and the inhib, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But I definitely do think that uh, Fresno was really good about playing out their team fights. Yeah. We definitely got caught out multiple times there. Okay. Okay. Wardbringer, clutching up. He's coming back. The Looks savior. like it's going to be another potential four v five, and <laughs> the poor support having to pay for my sins. But it looks Always. like oh, Sejuani bare minimum dies. Will Fresno continue going after it? Because I, I un unironically think Darius in that situation could probably get another kill without absolutely. dying. No, absolutely. But it looks like Aesol's up here as well. Just revving up for another fight. It's getting ready. Absolutely. Always down to throw hands. If anybody's ready to brawl, it's Darius. Absolutely. And it looks like Darius is going to go after the Cho'Gath. Oh. Unfortunately, gets hit by the Q, and Cho'Gath's just gonna waddle hit, waddle away like Godzilla retreating <laughs> into the sea. <laughs> Darius' axe is too scary. Did you guys know that Darius' axe weighs 100 and, what is it, 80 pounds or something like that? Really? Or 120? It's somewhere in there. 120, 180, something like that. Wow. There's an actual stat for it. It's kind of weird. 
Anyways. Isn't uh, Black Cleaver supposed to be his axe? I have no idea. So Artana's is running in. Oh, wow. Oh, doesn't get the Q on the choke. I think we'll go down. But Jorah's kind of stuck in the same situation where it's just a 4v1. We're doing pretty bad about getting caught out in the 4v1s. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's more of like sacrificial to get pushes yeah, in Yeah, we are lands. split pushing. Yeah, I mean, oh, we, we did get a portion of stuff for that play, but... It's not enough. Let's be honest, the blood was calling. The hemorrhage <laughs> was stacked. It was time for Noxus to get another kill. <laughs> <laughs> Down with the monarchy. No, I am the monarchy. No, you're not. I am Hold the on. patriarch himself. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> it looks like a TP from Victor in the bot lane. It looks like Fresno State University is not going to be able to continue this Baron now that CEI is on the scene and with Cho'Gath recalling. I beat Lucid recalling. It seems like they could not do Baron. That is. That's unfortunate for friends, though. I would say they do have to keep that top wave managed really well with those uh, Siege minions now up. But oh my goodness, Quintin just running down mid, taking another tower. Nobody can even stop him. Already three items deep. That's insane. Almost four. Three to half items. Dang. Getting that cash. Speaking of getting that cash. My wolf. <laughs> Here to steal it from Sejuani. Oh. Okay. Interesting flank angle. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a whole lot that can be done from it, especially with those two by themselves. He was just getting his heart steals. The heart steal calls. It's the call of the storm. <laughs> But it looks like Fresno State University is starting to play really, really defensively, only going for plays where they have pretty much everybody able to do anything. And it looks like some harassment from Engineer is going to stop the Cho'Gath TP. Oh, yeah. I mean the Cho'Gath recall. My favorite way to play League of Legends, harassing people. <laughs> I'm just a menace. And, it and not even a threatening menace. Jogath goes down to the quote-unquote unthreatening menace who threw a <laughs> literal Tesla coil on the man. <laughs> yeah, it's just like little, little stings. Little buggy stings. Oh, looks like... Looks like uh, wow. Darius is getting caught out wow. once again. Wow, you that, ate so much. If if that ult landed, I guarantee Aesol was dead. You took that meteorite on the chin like it was nothing. True. And I, I was able to get time for that tier 2 to be taken. And it looks like mid lane's getting pushed out by uh, Wardbringer. Hey, but guess what time of game it is. Smolder with Execute. Smolder with Execute? Gonna pop off. There oh, yeah. it is. Already shown his stuff. There it is. We what like to see it. What time is it? It's game time. It's game time. <laughs> hey, look. We're down in kills again. Oh, that's not true. I, I think you're colorblind. We're 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 the blue ones with the red oh, gold. Yeah, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're the ones definitely. with the three drakes and definitely didn't miss any of them. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All all the farm, all all of the time, and all the kills have finally led to the point where Smolder has become what he's always wanted to be, leading leading to a formidable late game scale. Because I think. I think you also just barely got all of your augments at this point, right? Uh, no, I had my augments like a while five minutes ago. ago yeah. so, five, ten minutes ago. So all Victor augments, Smolder's passive has his final upgrade, which yeah. can, can still continue to scale based off of the amount of stacks he has. And then you have Maokai getting tanky, you have Shen starting to get those hard steel stacks, and I mean, Darius, Darius doing build. Darius things. <laughs> Darius full build is just like... A menace. A complete and utter <laughs> menace. The M7 pings from yeah. the ever so helpful uh, nice word one, Nice one. <laughs> right when no one can gotta, see you. Gotta flash it for everyone. I love that the camera pan on it. I mean, what else is there to see? Right? Except for his <laughs> glory. His True. absolute Shen glory. In that moment, it is just him. And it looks like CEI is going to try and prepare maybe something for Bear. My, the tides have changed with uh, CI being able to take objectives and have some more control on the map after a pretty rough, pretty rough early game with the scaling comps. Yeah, well, the, the good thing was that since 
CEI had a good bit of top pressure, especially in the early game when they kept sending everyone up there. Mm -hmm. It was diff they, although they could get Drakes, Fresno couldn't really get Void Grubs or Rift Heralds, Very which, which uh, Majora's Demise and um, I were very careful about because if yeah. they had all of those plus all of the souls, it would be a very different game. I was going to talk about something, but a fight is ensuing. Oh my goodness, that Maokai wow. actually caught the Sedge one. That's actually crazy. The ult goes down. We do get a pick on the Sedge. I wonder if that's going to be a Baron call with the Sedge. I mean, gone. it's got to be. Take the inhip, go for Baron, maybe, possibly. Big possible. All yeah, right, hopefully like that means they're going for Baron. Yeah. But anyways, what I was going to say, yeah. I feel like Fresno is really good at knowing how to funnel gold onto a character. Because I feel like every single, yeah. at least the two games that we've seen so I far. I mean, saw. Yeah, they've done a really good job of just funneling the gold. Because, like, the Katarina was fed game yeah. one. Game two, this Aesol is just, he has a 350 gold bounty, has 300 or 254 CS. And I bet his stacks are, like, immeasurable right now. Well, it's dangerous to do those carry comps like that. Because um, there's just the one carry person. goes down, especially when we have dive, like, with Shen, Maokai. And Darius could just literally run around them thanks to um, Stride Breaker plus Trinity Force. And your ghost. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's not much uh, you can do if you are trying to do a carry comp like this and your carry just, like, goes down. I mean, what else are they going to do? And honestly, I'm recognizing it now. I'm noticing it. They don't make really good use of Chemtexel. They don't have a lot of team members that really take advantage of that as well as we well, do well, with like Darius and um, uh, Darius and Maokai. I, Maokai I would agree with you but worst comes to worst the soul is what 11% I mean, resistance no. and damage increase like worst comes to worst soul is still good like no matter what team it's on yeah. but, but um, the drakes themselves are definitely better for CEI because yeah the the shielding and healing power plus the tenacity is absolutely massive against the slows from a soul the, the roots from Nautilus and the um, stuns from Sejuani. Right. And it looks like a massive fight is about to break out. Sejuani almost caught out by three people in a 3v5. <laughs> That's kind of kind of wild. But yeah, still down in kills. <laughs> yeah, but the gold lead has increased. It's the a 7k difference big. now. And we've got control over the map almost entirely now. Oh yeah, don't mind me sitting in that bush for like a solid 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. That was when my computer was uh, like, I think my computer was overheating or something because literally I only had like 10 FPS and my game was like in slow motion. But And you had like a crash early on too. Yeah, like, I had both a crash oh my and gosh. then my PC was like fried. Both teams ADCs too. Yeah. The other team's ADCs monitor wasn't working. During our game. Dude, that was so like, funny. It's just a manifestation of the will against the ADCs. I know, Honestly. it's the ADC curse. Okay, I get ulted but I'm able to get out there. Okay. Wardbringer and Quinton staying up in the front, doing a great job of frontlining, but this is Wardbringer will fight. go down. But Quinton, you just oh. do so much damage and he flashes away, but you still get PR. That's crazy. Finish him off. A little bit of a <laughs> kill Bluetooth steal. R. Bluetooth R. And you're just running him down. You're not then, scared uh, at all. Oh my gosh, what a grab. Like max range grab. I happen crazy. to be uh, bringing in a massive wave topside that macro at play right there honestly it was to the point where the second we could create any big fight even if we lost it they wouldn't get anything but if we won those big fights it's game over for them honestly i but, think that's what we excel at too yeah. is like the macro with like we make the choices really hard and con especially considering how strong smolder was at that point considering all those stacks and he hit three items his Q execute was doing some real heavy damage. Oh, great. So, it, with all the peel we were giving him and uh, giving him and Victor, it mm -hmm. made it very easy for our carries to go uh, well when all we had to do was take down the ASOL. Absolutely. Because if you noticed, ASOL tried to drive by uh, yeah. um, Maokai and Darius, but then he instantly got gone on. Mm hmm. Uh, should we take another small break while we get the... Nope. No, okay. we're just going right in. Looks like we're going straight into game three. No just delay like, this time. Just like...
our game three. We're getting right into it. And it looks like it's going to be another random. Uh, this was another pull from CEI having copious we, uh, amounts of bans. <laughs> we kind of did a little bit of a. No spoilers. Well, I'm just saying for the ban phase for this one. Oh We're yeah. Just, I'm just talking our picks. Our, we just we kind of went wild with this one, honestly. If I recall correctly, we banned Acel rather than Katarina this time because we figured oh, we didn't. if anyone's going to be able to be dealt with, it's going to be Katarina. We didn't ban Acel. Oh, that's right. We just left the Katarina open. We just left the Katarina open this time around, which <sighs> I'm going to get All frustrated right, after this game, but I'm not going to spoil it. I know people want just because this, this, this game wasn't broadcasted, Don't so I won't say anything. Don't I won't say, say anything. anything. I won't say anything. All right. Also, I... Uh, I, I get may it. I have. Get it. Right. I may have uh, been a little bit high off of the. Uh, oh, adrenaline was running. The adrenaline high. and decided to pick Ziggs, which is like my. Should I say that it's like my fourth time playing the champ total? I also picked my Aurelia, which I just didn't have practice with it recently, and it was kind of just more of like, oh, it's Aurelia. Honestly, but out of everyone in this game, the only person who is playing a character consistently probably was, you. was me. Definitely you. Because the cane is also like a back back bonka kit pick we have for um uh our jungler. Yeah. And like Bard is kind of just uh oh, looks, He hasn't played it often. Yeah. Let's put it that way. But it looks like both sides were trying to do an invade. Jinx lost her ghost, but it looks like CEI is going to try and stop Fresno State University from taking red buff. Mm. Ooh, and the harass from the Mundo. Those briefcases, classic. They hurt. But that is Katarina Ooh. Flash. That is Jinx Ghost. <laughs> Majora's this. Demise oh. just trying to hopefully fight over his buff. If he's what able to get it, that is a free double kill. But no. it looks like Fresno State University gets the level 2 off of the buff. Oh, why did he go back in? No. That probably would have been the best move to just the Ghost used skedaddle. from Mundo, Flash used from Zack. Yeah. It's already a chaotic mess. I think I think CEI is getting tired, but there's clearly some sort oh. of drain on them at this point. Agreed. Something that I want to say is, like, you can tell throughout the games, like, as we keep going, you can tell, like, we just play worse and worse, <laughs> and we're picking characters yeah. that we're, like, less and less... Like oh. comfortable with, and the the overall quality of the game just <laughs> keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> we we needed to work on that. Then like we have we have so much to learn from these finals. We especially this last game. Yeah, we we did a lot of things that were good and a lot of things that were pretty pretty textbook bad. But that means if we're getting overcome that. Yeah. Our potential for growth is incalculable. I, we have I will, so much potential. I'm sorry, but I'm coming for you, I'm, Oh, I'm, I'm coming for you, owner. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> Although Better that's probably not going to take a while. <laughs> that's probably going to take a while to get to <laughs> It's going to take point. a second. It's going to be a few years. But honestly, that would be a dream come true. Honestly. And I think, I think this is a relatively decent start for that type of thing. <clears throat> but it will be... It will be sad when I can no longer be a part of CEI's team. Yes. And when we'll I will have to, to you crush again. you from another school. Oh, yeah. If we're in the same bracket. You might just be higher than us. Because we're, we're a true. bunch of lowly, I'm lowly high, silvers. I'm a high elo, I swear. <laughs> I swear to God. He's graced us I with mean, his I emerald I, presence. I, I, swear I, I, I swear I didn't swear. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like... I feel like even if you play in prize, yeah, CEI will always be in your heart as winning. True. Well, you'll you'll still be playing for CEI even if you're playing in prize, yeah. When I eventually when I eventually get onto T1, I'll be like, I'm still part of CEI. Still part of CEI. Oh yeah. And when I face you when I'm on a Gen G, yeah. <laughs> Do you really want to be on Gen G? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> like no offense to Gen G, they're no, fantastic, I really don't. but. Nah, I'd choose Team Liquid so that way I could never win. I don't know. I I like Team Liquid. Well, Team Liquid's nice, but, like, they don't win. Bro, they just won, like, okay. the LCS. See, I, <laughs> I am saying that, but, like, maybe they might get it this year. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping. They actually did really well this year. I'm, I have high hopes. I'm very excited yeah, to see that. The, the, the games in the LCK were fantastic to watch this year. Agreed. If I just keep to mid lane, or not mid lane, if I keep to bot lane and, uh... Yeah. I think you'll When half of my team is CI graduates? <laughs> True. <laughs> Honestly. 
Okay, we get dove. We just I don't think anything really happens. Oh my gosh! Oh, here we go. No way. Okay. No way. Okay. Okay, he doesn't die. Dang. I got so worried for a second. I'm yeah, no, we uh. CI pumps out the best league players. They just. We're just getting poached left and right. Yeah, I gotta warm up. I gotta keep working on my ADC. Yeah. Soon. Soon you can go to ISU. And just in, just in case if anybody sees this broadcast when they look into my past when I eventually try and get the pro esports team, I'm not saying Gen G is bad. I, I swear, <laughs> I love Gen G. They're, they're the hope of America. For sure. But. <laughs> but. I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> that is all I can do to exploit myself. But like T1. I really do hope Gen G uh, wins Worlds next year. Because if I remember, it's happening in London, which would be really cool. Because uh, I, I want to go visit Worlds in person. I do too. I really do too, but I, I need some cash. <laughs> mm. Just get paid by the government, Wolf. Easy. I, right? <laughs> exactly. That's why I got to become a Commit pro Commit tax a bit. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> also, you guys have been saying ISU, but it's U of I. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, hey, you know what? ISU or U of I, all right? LOL. It's all right. LOL. LOL. <laughs> we were just saying the wrong place. That's all. It's okay. No, we're, we're talking about our dreams and aspirations, all right? Are we supposed to have those? <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost them. The so, some, sometimes. 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 Say, hey, you know what? You Mundo, know what was a dream? Mundo barely, yes. Mundo barely surviving the Urgot Bush gremlinism. It looks like he took yeah. a page out of my book. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's got to learn from the best. That That is that is the top lane specialty. <laughs> But it looks like CEI has a slight gold lead despite being down a kill. Shocker. <laughs> Get down out of you. <laughs> <laughs> you of I will just suck them out of you. <laughs> uh, but it's it's been fascinating. No, I I really honestly, it is a dream come true to get to finals. Yeah. For for CEI, honestly. All, all the hard work for the past, oh. at least for me, the past oh, yeah. two and a half years. You and I started here. Yeah, back when back, back when, when it, Josh like, was starting. Josh was in charge of the league program. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It's been a long time coming for sure. We we put in a lot of effort for this. Yeah. So it's nice to see it pay off. Yeah. But well, regardless of how these games go. <laughs> we don't want to <laughs> talk about that. Honestly, I'm really proud of the games too. But as I say that, Quentin getting dope once again. I feel like they were just targeting they you the really whole time. Like they just did not like you. There's the Urga ulti. Uh oh. Mumbai. Grind it up. Sorry. The Mundo man has been taken down. Oh yeah. Thank you. We appreciate having you, Avai. You are, you are our friends, our colleagues in the esports community. Oh, oh! You forced the cap flash. I did. I don't know how you got that, but you did. It's because I'm so good. Do you just crack? I just crack. If this was at our worst, imagine us at our best. Honestly. True. That's true. This is like four hours deep. Oh, it was, it was a rough day. It oh. was a rough day. Maybe not four hours, but it was a long time. I mean, we practiced early on. Yeah, that's a good point. And uh, to to our credit, our support player had a long day at work before he had to come. An hour shift right into. Oh yeah. Right into come help League us with that. Legends. But we're keeping it relatively close. We're only 500 gold down. We are three kills down. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm our home turf of being way down and on red side. Welcome y'all with open arms. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> it would be an honor to play on U of I if I ever go there. For Which real, I don't for know. Real. Okay. No Dude, offense. those cat combos are so <laughs> gross. What the heck? Dude, I the dash is just I know I'm playing Aurelia, but like at least I have to dash to something and not just throw a dagger and then just have a free dash. Yeah, yeah, but somehow, I have no idea where my degree is taking me. So, <laughs> I might end up at U of I. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? The future is a mystery. Honestly, 
But as for as it stands, I'm playing for CEI. I will stand strong. <laughs> Looks like we are gonna try to go on the grubs here. Might be a little bit too early. Majora's trying to just keep them off for now. There you go. Oh, Ooh. the Bartle misses. I think that we were trying to stop the uh, the Urgot there with the ulti, but we just barely missed. The Urgot will go down. Oh. Artanis gets one, but it will be traded out. That and I think that's a triple kill for Katarina. Yeah. That's really not what bad. you want to see. Really bad. I mean, here's the thing though. See, guys, getting our bachelors for the comp side program. This is true. I might not even have a reason to go to U of I. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I would love to scream that. That'd be fun. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, hit me up. We can we can organize it. <laughs> I don't even know if he's still on I the don't, U of I, I team. Know. Is he still on been, the U of I team? I haven't been keeping up with U of I that much. Either way. I'm sorry. CI down six kills. Oh, only down rough. about a thousand gold. We're fighting for Dragon right now. Okay. We will be able to steal it somehow. Clutch smite from Majoris. And the rest of the team somehow escapes, sadly. Oh, that's nice. interesting. Nice. Good for him. Sick. Glad to hear it. Yeah. I'm channeling a little bit of my inner Truman. Not picking a champion. Just playing whatever. <laughs> That'd be fun to play against Truman again. It would be fun. I'd love to. Also, another 150 gold shut down on the Ziggs with nothing but assists. <laughs> But so far the game is just staying really slow, really passive, still within 1,000 gold. Oh yeah. Even though we're down six or five kills, I should say. And four of those being on Katarina. <laughs> yeah. Super scary. Already has carry. nine stacks on the Dark Seal. Funneling the carry once again. Yeah, I am. We're hoping for a, we would love to do a scrim, but Next week, it might not be Wednesday, because that's when we have our... Oh no! Oh Easy Breezy gets grabbed from the bush into Ooh. the ult. Throws the Bart ult. Okay. There goes oh. the Ziggs ult, but it doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. Are they barely... Little I don't remember what happens. A little do, bit of miscommunication. Do I get taken down? No, I do I escape. Do. Quentin, though, trying to run away the best that he can. Let's see if he can... Ooh. Oh no! That hurts. That hurts. He does get taken down. Dude, I feel like this Urgot matchup has just got to be a rough one. Urgot's a beast. And, like, the shotgun knees do max health damage. Oof. So, for a character that builds uh -oh. only max health. All right, Majora's okay. are able to take him down. He does stun okay. them. I think that's going to take him down. Nice. nice. We like to Huge. see it. Good knockup. Alright. We can come up with some days. Oh. Welcome back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nautilus forced to flash away. Hooks the wall and barely escapes. Okay, it looks like there's a TP. A little bit of a questionable TP, if I say so myself. We are very good at uh, being the guinea pigs for other teams. Very good. <laughs> Sadly. <sighs> Sadly, I'm, I'm, I'm the mid laner of the first game this time. <laughs> hey, now. You're an all-star. 
Put your game on. <laughs> Go play. Cat DSMA. Or, what is it? Hey, don't DMCA. get his copyrighted, okay? Don't get his DMCA. You guys are yeah. singing too well. Too yeah, perfect. It, it sounded just like it. <laughs> yeah, the Ur guy is a little bit of a uh, oh, and it looks rough like pressure. Be tower oh, diving the top lane. that the is ult. a big Rift Herald and, and the ultimate down. once again. Oh my goodness. That is rough. I need to hear your side of this matchup, Quinton. Yeah. What, what was going through your head? What is Urgot like normally a really big counter to Mundo? And like, what's up? Urgot is really, really good into tanks. The big issue is my head was completely empty this game. But <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. I really do. Urgot, Urgot's biggest strength in his execute is that it's a flat amount of HP has to be reached for the death. And Mundo yeah. is all about healing from low HP, so Urgot's really, really good into the matchup. Yeah. And then his passive with his shotgun legs shotgun is memes. really good because it's maximum percent HP on a really, really low cooldown. Yeah. And I could have been playing my Aurelia better. Just not enough practice and also head empty. Head, head empty. empty. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> I better get this kill, I swear if you take it from me. No! <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I mean, it's alright. I don't have to beat the carry every game. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for the kill myself. but <laughs> No, I wanted it, not even nice. though I was clearing ball lane. Ziggs ult from across the map. <laughs> Ultimate Ziggs ult worldwide i don't know how but we are down eight kills but we're only down 2k gold we are managing we're crazy bleeding weirdly pretty well i mean that makes sense we all have roughly actually we have only have a we have a slight cs lead across the board but eight times 300 is 2400 take into account roughly the 10 percent cs increase for cei side well it makes sense well Hold on now. Don't bring your calculus I, into this. I'll get the second derivative. Don't make me. <laughs> I'm here to not think about school right uh, now. What do you mean? We're at school. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't think it. But a massive fight is breaking out in the in the, in the bottom river. A good ult by Wardbringer to knock out two people out of the fight. Sadly, so was the Aurelia, but... Those Nautilus hooks hit like a truck. Yeah, I think it's to the I think it's been to the point for a while, but I don't think it's gonna get through the heads just quite yet that team fights are not where CS is oh, yeah. this. I think we kept trying to team fight. I think I think I mean so far every team I team fight that we've tried to do has like gone horrendous for us. It's <laughs> backfired miserably. It's backfired miserably. I don't know if we should keep doing it. I don't think we should have kept doing it. But Also, the did. Nautilus kept, like, pulling you into oh, the Katarina goodness. Ultimate. Like, you literally got out, and then he pulled I you can't. back into the Katarina Ultimate. Like, that's just so unlucky. Also, the 10 stacks on uh, Dark Seal, by the way. Where's that Magi? Where's the Magi at? Where's the Magi's? Where's the beef, man? <laughs> but... Although the lead is pretty fairly in Fresno's favor, it's not like it's completely unwinnable. Like, as demonstrated in the last games when we had those leads, Fresno was still able to put up a really good fight and get a lot of uh, good comeback spots. Yeah. So, this game is by far not done. Urgot is pretty scary, but they're still trying to do the mid lane carry shenanigans, as we've seen from the other two games. And, the, and another thing to keep in mind is, again, we chose a very scaly comp, like oh, yeah. Aurelia, Ziggs, Mundo, Mundo doesn't get strong until he has Titanic and Heartsteel, which is his big power spike. And only, like, what, five minutes ago did we get Kane, Red Kane? Which... Yeah. It was a little bit of a late transformation, but after what yeah. happened level one in the jungle, it's kind of to be expected. Yeah. But already we're starting to... The CIs are starting to get some Towers, CS, like mm -hmm. mid lane towers got taken, bot lane towers got taken, and that lead that was at like 4k just dropped to 3, and soon it's going to be down to 2. And then from that point, CI has a much better chance of fighting back. Yeah. Combat is going to be very difficult here, though. But it looks like Jinx is in the top lane now. Kind of a weird placement of power, but since she's never alone, I don't think. I don't think CEI should be trying anything top lane. But it looks like maybe, maybe top lane and mid lane can force something for this tower, but it yeah. might just they might just have to back off of it. Especially since 
we know there's at least two people up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, also this Urgosh is the split push menace. That R dodge though. From yeah, it was Chandler. a good R dodge. But still, that 300 gold bounty on Urgot and the 600 gold bounty on Katarina is just it is so scary. Rough. She also oh. already has TB from behind. Okay. Artanis and Majora's going in. Ooh. Oh, unlucky. He might have just gone in a little bit too early. Artanis trying to end it here. Ooh, that damage that, from Urgot. That is some crazy damage. But you will get the shutdown, Quinton. Nice job. And yeah. if you notice, immediately after that fight, Urgot got a heal cut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That Ugh. black cleaver damage though. It, it was the black bad. cleaver plus hole breaker. But oh wow! An attempt to assassinate the Jinx, but unfortunately. I don't know what I was doing. I I really think I just my my eyes were turning. Falling turning. falling asleep at the oh, computer yeah. after so long. Getting too sore. These games are brutal. It really is. But it looks like. Oh, there's no way I'm getting out here. Katarina's oh. just too mobile. Yeah. And the Jinx rocket to add insult to injury. She's got that mage eyes, right? No, she's still got the dark seal. She hasn't got her mage eyes. Yeah, she went for tier two boots. Why not? She Why also not? bought rabbit on second item. Yeah. She's just going for the full damage. But they do have Baron, and this could just be a tower take here. I don't know if Warbringer's able to stop the push in time. Yeah, that's just going to be tower gone. And that's just going to push the lead even further in uh, mm -hmm. Fresno's favor. Yeah. 5k gold ahead. This is looking absolutely Very atrocious. Dire. Very dire. But as a wise man once said, even in a hopeless situation, there is still hope in the word hopeless. Until our Ziggs gets assassinated by okay, the Okay, well <laughs> And then this, this was just so unfortunate. I, oh, that was so close. So close. Ugh. And he had the heal cut. I couldn't heal enough. Yeah, something something we definitely should have taken into account is that heal cut just ruins our entire team. <laughs> it absolutely does. It absolutely does. But it looks like the bard support is able to get the able to take down the monster from the depths. And then Jinx is I Jinx swear, Jinx. I swear the the Fresno State University this is crazy ADC gameplay. does not interact with anybody. No, it's <laughs> they crazy just, gameplay. They right just there. farm and go for towers. Yeah, which honestly isn't the worst approach, but yeah, you can't feed if doing, you don't. They could be doing well. They have a Kraken Slayer. They could they could be doing so much right now. But it looks like a big four v four fight is erupting out in the bot uh, bot river once again. Team fighting. I don't know if this is a good idea. Yeah, it could very go easily go poor. Especially if we're so we're this behind right now. That's what I was about to say. We're down like was that four, five, six, almost seven thousand gold. Yeah. And we're trying to equally five v five team fight. Okay, okay. Zixel comes out. That's a lot okay, of damage. Maybe. I'll take out one. Trying to get the Katarina, oh, but she's just gonna run done. away. Urgot doing so the much stasis. damage. Okay. It's 3v2. Quentin is doing so, so much maybe. work here. Is the execute going to come out? And that Katarina is still alive in the background, yeah. though. She's is she going to clean it up? Yeah. yeah. I tried to go for the Dang. I tried to go for the E T M at proc to try and kill her the second she jumped on me. If I had even the slightest amount of HP, I win that fight there. Yeah. That would have been absolutely massive against the Dark Seal procs and 1,000 gold from killing her. It's a little bit rough, especially since like I got taken out way early on, and I couldn't drop my ult. I but think I still have my ult. That yeah. That was four for two, four for three. Yeah, and I so think honestly, they, oh they don't take Drake. Yeah, we push him off Drake enough. It at least shows that we're still in the running of fighting. Yeah, I mean but it. It really is just trying to plug like the plug the wounds, try and yeah. stop the bleeding. Mundo now having um, Titanic. Kane was able to just barely get the, uh, Sundered Sky. I'm sure you're also working towards your Sundered Sky in the mid lane. And we just have the Seraph's transformation for Ziggs. So yeah. even though a whole lot of gold wasn't really gained from that fight, a bunch of big spikes just happened for CEI. Mm -hmm. How is that tower alive? That's like 2 HP tops. Scale. 
it's it the best tower like around. Fresno State is going to go for another yep. Drake. And they get the Drake. And it looks like Money Man Mundo is splitting in the top lane. Depending on how long the enemy team goes for this, it could be an opportunity for CEI to gain some sort of foothold in Absolutely. terms of space. And there's a Valiant attempt that just the CC. The Urgot goes down. Nautilus is almost dead. Zack wow. is still massive in terms of amounts of HP, but... They do get harassed, and they have to go stop you yep. from taking more of the towers. Because their, their tier 2 just got destroyed, which is like 900 gold for CEI. And we're looking to stop some backs here. Okay. Kane, okay. Kane and Ziggs buying enough time. All right. That's oh, two wow. more dead. Nautilus goes down. So okay. we get yeah. the tower and the triple kill, which is huge amounts of gold for CEI, turning that balance lead from 7k to 4k uh, difference for... Not half bad. For Fresno. Stopping the bleeding. Got the goss strips out. Yeah, that was a really good call from us, honestly, to stop the backs. And I think this is when uh, we finally started waking up and being like, we this figured out what we needed to do yeah. for the team. I think we were getting complacent just because we were losing. Yeah. Just to autopilot all of us. And we but just still, this Katarina is so scary, dude. 10-0-3, yeah. 700 gold bounty. I don't oh, know yeah. why she didn't buy Magi's. I, Magi's would be doing so much work. She still hasn't gotten Magi's. Wow. Crazy. But mm, Losing out on so much. We're still down quite a bit. We're oh, in yeah. such a bad and awkward situation. We've lost most of our towers, but... I mean, so have they. So have they. They've just taken one more than us. But they mm -hmm. also have the dragon. They're on soul point. And they could try to force Baron, honestly. Just an unlucky situation. Okay. I thought the Kyria nah. was going to jump on you. My bad. Yawn. We're all sharing yawns over here. Bro, I'm not yawn. I'm so engaged right now. You can Networking. tell by my voice, right? Networking. Oh, yeah. Ugh. It has been a long couple of days. Absolutely. Even though this happened Wednesday night. Yeah. Since then, oh. sleep is sleep is optional. Rough. Let's be honest, we're all in college. Yeah, college students. Oh. But it looks like with the help of Ziggs, nice. Mundo is going to be able to take down Urgot, which is Taking about. honestly a blessing considering that man is just an absolute juggernaut to deal with. I looks like Katarina wow. is going to just destroy Aurelia. And I just got blasted. Yeah. I, I don't understand why she doesn't go for Magi's. That like, she's a, she's honestly, 11 0 and 3. And that increase of like, what, 130 AP for free? I mean, she would she already has 10 stacks. She would immediately get that move speed bonus, which yeah. would be so massive. But it looks like CEI is going to be able to take another tier 2 tower. They're just letting us take the towers. And it looks, it looks like CEI's new strategy of. Split push. <laughs> distract the enemy while one <laughs> to two people do something on the opposite side of the map is working perfectly. I mean, hey, we're very good at that. We're really good at doing that. Because the goal that was at 7k, a difference went from 7k to 4k, now it's down to 1.5k, and CEI is threatening their uh, base towers. And we are down double the kills. Almost got the steal from, from the cane. It's a good Sadly, attempt. Sadly, it won't be enough. Just delaying. Maybe if he wasting can time. hold, uh, hold oh. them off. Okay, maybe he can waste a lot of time. They seem to keep yeah. going for him. You know. Oh my goodness. There's three rules of league. One, don't you don't chase Singed in his puddle. Two, don't ask Amundo how much money he makes. The IRS will never tell you. <laughs> and three, never chase a cane. He will go anywhere he pleases. <laughs> They are still chasing him. This Dude, is crazy. They're still chasing him, but that Katarina just got another kill, and she's now 13-0-3. Still no Magis. And Quentin getting uh, bombarded by wow. everybody here. Wow. I weasel my way out somehow, but Quentin's just going to be the sacrificial lamb for this play. Just wasting time. That's all oh, it takes. Oh, no way you get out. Okay, I was about to say. They're just going to dive right on top of you. I thought you were going to get out. This is just... The happy feet. He's got the happy feet. He's he got does the juke shoes. But that is the shutdown going over. We're still down roughly 5k. Oh, wait. I didn't realize our jungler got out of that. He didn't Dude, die. Majora's got out. He got I out. I kind of got distracted because I, of the fight. Dude. I, I the biggest reason I went for there despite my low HP was to help him get out. Because the Zac was getting close to getting into ulti range of him. And if he does right. that, when 
uh, hit, when Kane's trying to go through walls, he's going to be dead. And yeah, honestly, my life ain't worth much. <laughs> they are focused in on the kills, trying to get like triple Katarina our kills. Katarina trying to assassinate the... Uh, and the trade. Oh, the oh, suicide okay. charge from Ziggs onto that Katarina. That is super Massive. bad. Super bad for Katarina. That trade was not worth it at all. The loss of Dark Seal stats plus the extra 1,000 gold for... Yeah. army is massive. Not even close to worth it. Okay. Stalling for time. Oh, oh that was so that. close. Close. You can even see that the smite went off for Majora's Demise. Also, that trade I thought was super funny in the moment. Because she threw up the thumbs up emote. Like, she was just going to walk away and one-shot me. But <laughs> yeah. then I ended up trading. So I thought that was Dude, just amusing. She kept thumbs upping me in lane. Yeah. I was, like, getting annoyed with that. I was like, come on, really? Let's be professional here. We're in a tournament game. Yeah. Even if it is low level tournament, it's still a tournament game. Yeah. Quentin manages to get out. Oh no oh. way. Does he get out? Okay. Oh, oh no, he dies to the burn. Crazy. Nerf red buff. Nerf red buff. <laughs> red oh, and they did crazy. get soul off of that, so they do have oh, Inferno wow. Soul. And the TP. Are and they going TP. for the end here? I'm assuming they are based on I think TP. So. The final stand. It looks like all of Fresno's heading mid. Mundo is getting set up to get his HP back after barely escaping the Zack and Jinx. Honestly, Dang. I don't know if CEI will be able to hold this position. They're down so much here. But it looks like a TP coming in from Mundo. Wow. Fresno State's engaging okay. mid lane. It, oh, they just have we're to having delay a, long enough. We're having a base race here. It, just long enough. CI is getting utterly destroyed in the mid lane without the help of the Mundo. They're all so close to death. All right, Ziggs. But it's just you a stall game. This. Mundo's taken two towers. He's Bard. working on the second tower of the enemy base. Oh, now they just got to stop backs. Bard stopping Nautilus. Second tower has been claimed. Mundo's working on the enemy base. Oh, my goodness. Yo! Oh, my goodness. The back door. Wild. CEI behind 7K gold. Able to... Able to, mind you, dishonorable, but any by any means Our necessary win. Specialty. Base raced them from bot lane using gremlinism backdoor strats. Hey, you know what? What's good to us the win? That's all that matters. All right. That, That's all that matters. That makes CEI go 3 0 against Fresno University, going for a undisputed victory. Oh, yeah. And we want. This season has been. Amazing. I mean, we've only, I think we've only dropped two games, two matches. Yeah, we haven't lost any games, we but we have lost, lost two matches thus far through this season. Yeah, but otherwise, pretty much flawless.